Canning Street. We were brought together by our mutual love of bicycling. While sharing our stories of riding our bikes around San Francisco, we realized that there's a lack of everyday apparel for urban cyclists like us. So we reached out to our community, surveying over 200 cyclists, and we began hearing a common theme from female riders. I've got bike clothes, that's not the problem. I want clothes to wear on my bike and around town. I would love a pair of Levi commuter jeans. Why don't they make them for women? My favorite clothes just can't hold up to the rigors of cycling. I'm constantly having to replace my favorite pair of pants. That's why we created Canning Street, a lifestyle brand that makes everyday apparel for urban cyclists. Our innovative designs merge fashion and function so that our clients can spend more time on their bicycles and look good doing it. <laughs> so the first uh, product that we're bringing to market is the Canning Street Classic Jean. From our survey, we know that our customers are looking for a jean that is highly visible on a bicycle, incorporates their everyday accessories, and is made from material that has flex, but is also rigorous to hold up to the everyday wear of cycling. All of our jeans are made with sustainable cotton, and we make sure that everybody who works on our products are paid a living wage. Our classic cuts and timeless designs make sure that our customers look good on or off their bikes, and their clothing doesn't go out of style. Everything we make is built for the ride and refined for the destination. So when we think about just uh, how big the market is in the top 20 cities for urban cycling in the US, there's currently $29 billion spent on apparel every year. Now, that's not exactly our target market. When we look at just those people that are riding their bikes to work on a frequent basis, they're spending about $470 million annually on apparel. Now, in terms of our growth strategy, we're looking to grow our sales year on year for the first five years to the point where at year five, we're uh, selling around about 24,000 units and generating $2.5 million worth of revenue. Now, when we think about that in the context of our $470 million market, we're very confident that this market's large enough to meet our corporate aspirations. But we're not alone here. There are some other competitors in the market. What's really important about our product positioning is that we're positively differentiated from low-cost leaders such as Levi's and Swerve, Yet, we come in at a far more accessible price point than luxury brands like Ivergene, Rafa, and Pedal Ed. We'll launch later this year with a Kickstarter campaign that will get our brand out there and start generating pre-sales. After that, we'll launch our full product line using a blended strategy that includes direct sales through our website, as well as wholesales through retailers in key cycling cities and online. As you can see, we're projecting that 85 to 95% of our revenues will come through our website. And we're focusing so heavily on this particular revenue stream for a couple reasons. The first is that wholesale just doesn't provide us with the level of brand control that we're looking for at this stage. And the second is price. Take our Canning Street Classic Jean, which retails for $130 and it costs us $25 to make. We can sell a pair of these jeans to a retailer for $55 which means that we make $30 gross profit on each pair of jeans. That same pair of pants sold through our website means that we get to take advantage of the markups that caused us to charge only $55 to the retailer, and so we bring home a gross profit of $105 per pair of jeans. That's a significant increase, even when we take into account the cost of acquiring those sales. We're planning to front load our major expenses in years one and two, to build our operational capacity and allow us to scale more leanly in future years. Again, in year five, we're projecting doing two and a half million in sales, and we'll have positive operating income in year three. In order to drive traffic to our website and hit our sales projections, we plan on allocating roughly 25% of our revenue on an annual basis towards marketing. Now at its core, Canning Street is a company by cyclists for cyclists. And for that reason, we have a customer-centric marketing strategy. This includes a robust social media presence that takes in user data and content. In addition, we plan on offering world-class customer service featuring a kick-ass return policy. Beyond that, we plan on partnering with key events in the bike space, for example, Bike to Work Week, which just happened here in San Francisco. And lastly, we'll be using traditional and online advertising strategies. With these strategies in place, we're confident we can continue to grow our brand while also staying true to the community we care so much about. 
Now, as a new company, obviously we face some risks, which is why we thought about ways to mitigate those risks. For example, we don't benefit from the same economies of scale a large company might have. But as a niche brand, we don't compete on price alone. Also, our team, while talented, lacks design experience, which is why we've made partnerships with experts that have worked in this industry for years. Lastly, this industry is marked by a fast fashion cycle, which is why our products are timeless and always in style. One of our biggest strengths is our team. Not only do we have a diverse set of backgrounds, but we're also our own target market as urban cyclists ourselves. To name a few individuals, we have Julian Fishman, the founder of Canyon Street, and also the founder and owner of Velo Cycles, Melbourne, Australia's premier urban cycling superstore. Casey Schultz has seven years of experience in retail and e-commerce, and Scott Bright has five years of experience in digital media and brand <laughs> strategy. We also have a strong set of advisors to help us along the way in both the fashion world and in the business world. Our advisors include George Santa Croce, the CEO of Moods of Norway, as well as denim guru, Jason Farrow. We also plan to partner with local businesses to really help us get our brand out there. We're here tonight seeking our first round of seed funding, which will help us build our team, our brand identity, and get our first production run into market. After a year of operations, we'll be looking to grow the business, enter new geographies and new markets, at which point we'll be seeking additional funding. After about three years of operations, we'll need to choose a direction as a company, whether it's to transition into a wholesale mass market strategy, open up a flagship brick and mortar, or sell the business. Depending on the direction we go, we'll either divest or raise our Series A. With that in mind, we'd like to invite you to be a part of Canning Street. We make lifestyle apparel that is built for the ride and refined for the destination. Thanks a lot. <laughs>